Hey, it's Catherine, and today we are going to talk a little bit about how you can start pivoting or exploring other areas within your brand, in your business, without getting off brand. Now, what am I talking about with this? So when I help clients develop a brand, um, a big part of what we do is really defining um, a very strong position. That means getting clear on, you know, what you stand for, big idea, you know, and then you talk about that. And part of it is developing a signature service because uh, I like to say your services are kind of like your actions. And so you want to prove what you prove, prove what your message, prove what you say by what you do and what, what you do is your service and your, you know, brand and, and marketing and stuff. So you want to make sure that you're showing up with integrity constantly, um, through not just saying something, but actually backing it up with what you're going to be doing. So, um, so within that model of, you know, you have a signature service, how can you really play and explore new areas and new things? And how do you, how do you know if you're on brand still? And one of the best ways that I know of to stay on brand is to identify what your purpose is and really just ask yourself, how is this going to help my clients with achieve this outcome. And um, there's a difference between your purpose and your mission. Your purpose is like a big idea. Um, what it is that you want for your clients to achieve and your mission is how you're going to be helping them achieve it. So I would say that what I learned today videos are actually not a part of the overall brand equip vibe, but I've included them as a way for me to kind of play with um, more of the interacting on a more daily basis or on a more regular basis without it being super official and branded. So my articles tend to have more of a curated uh, topics that are specifically related to branding. Whereas with what I learned today, it can be about branding. A lot of times it is, um, but it could be about something else like completely different. Uh, for instance, lately I've been um, reading about gemstones and their energies and stuff. And, um, it's part of, in a way, my brand, because I do, uh, use the intuitive, uh, energy that, you know, ability that just came inherently with me. Um, I mentioned before that I do, uh, I've always had a really strong connection with understanding people and being able to pull out little nuggets and that they are, I haven't been able to really verbalize very well and it's like they're nuggets from their own intuition that they just haven't really grasped yet so I can grasp onto their intuition and kind of put it there for them and say like this is your guide um this is what this is what you should be doing and they respond to it really well because it's from them um and so I do at tap into energies and stuff. And so I'm, I'm exploring gemstones as a way to help strengthen that ability. But I'm not really like talking about that so much on my on my website. I haven't actually done any what I learned today videos about that either. Um, but you know, if I did do anything along those lines, it would be here in this format because it's much more informal. And so it's just a matter of, I would say, if you're really wanting to kind of explore different things, um, finding a way to do it kind of behind the scenes. So your website should be super related to your brand. If you're doing other things, um, maybe, you know, you have something on one of the platforms. So it gives someone more incentive to follow you on that platform for one, while also not being a huge part of your overall brand message. And so you can play with it a bit and get the feel for it. And if you realize that as it goes, it's really something that you want to be bringing on as a part of your brand, then that's when a brand evolution happens and you bring it into the website and you make it a part of the overall brand message. And you can do this with your services too. I mean, you can even do it on your website. Uh, there's a pop-up service um, model that I really find to be a fun thing to do occasionally. So if you wanted to do something um, for your clients, a lot of times I would recommend that it still be related to your signature service because otherwise it would be kind of random. Um, if you're going to do something completely unrelated to what you are talking about in your signature service and stuff, then, then do a invite to friends. Don't do it under your business necessarily because you want to protect the integrity of 
your message. And if you're constantly bombarding it with all these random things that you're just trying to try out while you find your thing, then it's going to make it really confusing for your audience and be like, what are you all about? Like, I don't understand you. I'm going to go find someone who knows what they're doing. So, um, it, you still can play. It's totally okay to keep playing with your, um, skills and your, what you want to be doing and stuff, but just be careful about how you introduce it to your brand, to your audience. And, and don't make it official until you're ready to make it official. So it's about playing with it. And it's how you kind of like, sometimes there are things in your business that you need to do just to feed your soul, I would like to say. Um, part of what really feeds me is learning because I am very much a sage. And so I love knowledge. I love learning new things. And it doesn't always have to be branding. That's why I created what I learned today. It's about what I learned today. And I'm, it's off the cuff. And it's not like I said, a part of the brand. Some of the video topics that I come up with in here, um, I might eventually bring over to the to the brand articles. Um, but like I said, it's really more just to connect with you better um, and to kind of feed my soul in sharing this information that I'm learning and I'm so excited about. So that's one of the ways that you can really stay on brand and still kind of play and explore your options as to what you want to be doing. And so just, you know, you got to just be conscientious about what and where you're putting these things. So I will leave it at that. If you have any questions, which I can imagine, um, this is something that is, it's hard to really decide what it is that you want to include on your website. Cause your website is kind of like the catch all, right? It can be a catch all, but it shouldn't, it should be a very specific message that you're communicating. And if you need another website, for your catch-all stuff, that's okay. You can do that. Or you can just have it on one of your social media platforms or not even have it a part of your brand. It's okay to play. It doesn't all have to be a part of your business. And just make sure that, you know, if you're doing something that's more for you than for your brand, if it's not targeted enough to your brand and your brand message and, and your purpose, then just find another way to, you know, do it without compromising your brand integrity but it is okay to play. And that is, that is my message for you today. It's okay to play and have fun and do what you need to do in order to feel better, but just be careful about how you talk about it and where you share it so that you can protect the integrity of your brand message. So I will leave you with that. If you have any questions, like I said, go ahead, comment below, and I will try and help you out. So see you later. Bye.